Good afternoon, brothers of Gamma Alpha Epsilon. This is your feminist chair, Big D, with your weekly address. Big D's weekly address. <coughs> Today, we'll be discussing our zero tolerance for sending unsolicited dick pics. I believe it was Michael Scott that said it best, a dick in the right context can be one of the most wonderful things to a woman, but in the wrong context can be like, a monster movie. <laughs> Let's list off the times that it's appropriate to send a dick pic. Number one, when you've been asked to send a dick pic. Number two, there is no motherfucking number two. There's only number one. It's just like Fight Club. Only send a dick pic when you've been asked to send a motherfucking dick pic. Here's an example of an appropriate time to send a dick pic. Big D, I've been enjoying our talks over these past few days. I was wondering if you could come by later tonight, maybe watch a movie, maybe have some wine, maybe eat some cookies, maybe lay that huge donkey dick on me. Would you mind if I got to see a picture of it? Of course. Now here's an example of an inappropriate time to send a dick pic. Hey Sarah, what's up with you? Not much, Big D, how are you doing? Dick pic, uh, fail. But guys, it's important that I bring things down for a moment and speak to you with a heart to heart. If you're ever asked for a dick pic and you're just not comfortable sending it, then don't. It's your body, it's your choice. Just because your friends may be doing it, just some girls are expecting you to do it, you've gotta do what feels right for you. Not everybody that sends their dick pic out to a random girl in their physics 101 class wakes up the next day and is known as Big D all over the campus. That was my happily ever after. And I hope you all can find your happy ending someday too. Big D out, GAE forever. If you like what you just saw, subscribe by clicking right here and support the feminist movement, bro.